Welcome to Sew and Show and Tell. I'm going to show you my new electronic dental anesthesia device, which was designed and manufactured in France by Dental High Tech and now distributed in the U.S. by New Smile. It allows you to administer painless local anesthesia, including intraosseous anesthesia in pediatric patients, which enables you to get to work immediately. No tears, shorter chair time, shorter appointment, lower overhead, many, many benefits, but I want to tell you about how I assemble it, what local anesthesia I use, how to disassemble it, how to disinfect it, all that good stuff. These are the Effitec needles that are recommended to use with your device, and they have the patented bevel needle that makes for the painless injection for the papilla or mucosa, and then allows you to uh, penetrate bone in pediatric patients with primary teeth or mixed dentition. Okay, so it's critically important that you use their proprietary needle. This is the green and the most common size that you'll use. I currently have two sizes, the green, which is nine millimeter, and then the white, which is 16. There's also gray. Let's see if you're, if you're seeing adult patients, that's the 35 millimeter, and you can do a block, for example, with that. Um, but notice the nine millimeter is the most common one that we'll use in pediatrics, and you can see all the different indications for it. And also notice that the needle tip has the letter D. That's what you want facing out when you're inserting into the papilla to numb the mucosa. And this is the local anesthetic that is recommended for interosseous injection. It's septicane, one to 200 epinephrine. To hold your device when it's not sitting on the charger, it does come with this little wall mount where you can insert it like so, or if you're removing the cap, there's a slot here. Or, since we have three operatories, I use our good old fashioned holder that we use for our conventional syringes, and it holds it just like so, so I don't have to commit to adhering this to one particular spot. Since at the time being, we only have one unit. This is the foot pedal you'll use to administer local anesthetic with your device. So depending upon the patient and what type of injection you're going to give, there's three speeds to choose from. For pediatric, I'm doing interosseous, and I have it preset on low, which you can see is indicated by the blue light on the handpiece. So low is blue, okay? Now, let's say you were working on an adult and wanted to give a conventional injection, you could switch to high. If you needed to aspirate, you could press here to return and aspirate, okay? But normally, pediatric, I'm in the low mode. Again, you can see by blue, drop by drop is for when I'm numbing the papilla or the mucosa, okay? And then when I'm ready to deliver interosseous, I can switch to the low speed by pressing here on the foot pedal. Okay, I'm gonna remove the cartridge of one to 200 epi septicane. We're gonna do a short press. You probably hear it, and we can see it retracting all the way back into the base of the handpiece. There it goes. Da. Zoop. <laughs> and now I can safely unscrew this without damaging that portion of the device. See, it's flush. All right. And you can remove the needle and put it in your sharps. Like so, that'll just slide on up. And then this can get steam autoclaved. Just slide it into one of these little bags, seal it up, and then you can pop it in your statum or on a clave. We have a mid mark, and we have a statum, 
and I was told that both of these will be fine and they should last at least 50 cycles, if not more, basically until you see little stress cracks. And then the hand piece can just get wiped clean with good old fashioned cavi wipe. This is the charger that the hand piece sits on and when it's fully charged, this will light up green, but since I just used it, it's currently orange.